hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is fanny lungu uh i'd love to thank everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for 19 000, 19 000 subscribers you guys are the best i'm sure you can get us to 20 and we'll be very very um grateful i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed and to those that are coming here for the first time welcome please subscribe and turn on your post notification uh, bell thingy and make sure you don't miss out on any uh, videos that we post um you can find us on instagram and facebook as funny and jesse and just um feel free to interact with us i think it's actually easier to reach us on those platforms and we'll be more than glad to respond uh yeah if there is anything that you guys would love us to react to drop the link down below and we'll be more than glad um to react to it feel free to suggest anything and yeah we'll do it you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny and just enjoy the content that i put out there and yeah let me know what you think about the stuff that i write it's all about being positive and all those vibes if you understand what i'm saying so yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to after i accepted islam my mother asked me to shave my beard to stop uh, to shave my beard to stop wearing a cape and to give up on salah should i leave the house does a key naik so without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum uh, i am rewarded my name is uh, abdullah sheikh before it was a shushan kumar mandal i am from panvel but there is one question regarding uh, allahu akbar which i am always uh, i have read the quran and i came to know that there is a jannat which i am trying to go jannat directly to for that i have to follow the Hadith and Quran, but when I have read the Hadith and Quran, I came to know that I have to follow total Sunnat. This Sunnat has tried to put me down because of my mother. And my mother asked me to remove my beard, my cap, and all Sunnat. She wants me to be like an Indian guy. She says to me, you have to pray Allah in your heart, not by Salah. And this always Hindu always try to put me like this. You do what? What we say? Shall I have to do like this, or I have to leave the house, or I have to stay other? Mashallah, brother, that's a very good question. Allah gave him hidayah. He became a Muslim. He realized that following Quran and Sunnah will give him Jannah. When he read the Hadith, he followed the Sunnah. He wore a cap. He covered his hair. He sported a beard. But his mother says, "Remove the beard. Remove the cap. What should I do?" The verses are quoted of Surah. Luqman chapter number 31 verse number 14 that we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents in travel upon travel did the mother bore them but in pain did she give birth immediately next verse says Surah Luqman chapter 31 verse number 15 but if your parents force you to worship somebody besides Allah of which you have no knowledge they do not obey them yet live with them with love and compassion the same message repeated in Surah Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 8. We have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. But if the parents force them to do something, worship someone besides Allah, of whom they have no knowledge, then don't obey them, but yet live with them with love and compassion. What we realize from Quran and say Hadith, that you have to love your parents, you have to respect them, you have to obey them. But if they tell you something against Allah and his messenger, that's the only time you can disobey them. But yet love them. So if they tell you to remove the beard, you tell, my dear mother, our beloved prophet said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number seven, in the book of death, hadith number seven and eighty, that do the opposite of what the pagans do, trim your mustaches and grow the beard. I'm following my messenger. And that same messenger said, paradise lies beneath your feet. So if I remove the beard, even my paradise beneath your feet will go. Mother, I love you. Mother, I care for you. Mother, I respect you. That same prophet said that the person that deserves the best love and compassion is your mother. 
After that, do your mother. After that, do your mother. So if I stop obeying him, I will have to stop respecting you also. Mother, I love you. I respect you. I obey you. As long as you don't go against the person who's taking you to Jannah. That's the prophet. So depending how you speak, what you do, if you were not obedient to your mother before accepting Islam, maybe she told you, okay, wear a blue color shirt. Mother, I don't like blue color. Moment you became a Muslim, mother, I will wear a blue color. Hey, what happened to my son? Before he became a Muslim, he should disobey me. Now he's obeying me. So whatever your mother told you before you became a Muslim, which you never used to follow, the moment you become a Muslim, start following as long as it doesn't go against Allah and His Rasul. You should find a change. Start loving her more. You have to respect her. Suppose she goes to the temple, doing shirk is haram. But the moment she comes out of the temple, it becomes your duty that you take her back home. Because you love her, because you respect her. Even though she's a non-Muslim, yet your paradise lies beneath the feet of your mother. Your mother may not be in paradise, but your paradise yet lies beneath the feet of your mother. Love her, respect her, obey her, until she does not go against Prophet and the Rasul. See, there should be a change in your life and she will respect you, she will also accept your religion, she will even accept the sayings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir dawan, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Sir, but there is a one problem is that after she has converted into Islam, she accepted my Allah, but he is taking in the, uh, in the back of Allah, she is saying to me, uh, you don't follow what the uh, Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving you, the whole structures of the Islam, she is trying to uh, stop. What shall I do? I should leave the house or I should stay uh, away from my mother. Because you told me that in the, in, the, uh, in the feet of mother, there is a Jannat. Time is running short. The time is running short. You have to follow yet lover with compassion. Because tell her that the Quran says that you love. Verse your Rasul in Surah Nisa chapter number 4, verse number 59. So Quran says follow the messenger. Therefore I am following the messenger not because somebody else is saying. So to follow the Quran, I have to follow the Hadith. You love her, respect her. If she kicks you out of the house, stay out of the house, yet love her. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Where to start from? Um, first of all, of course, above everything, no matter what achievements uh, we get in life, we should respect our parents. Those are the people that gave us life and we should hold them dear to our hearts sometimes i feel like our parents are from a different generation than us because they fail to understand certain things or are not open to trying out other stuff if that makes sense our parents are like fixated on one thing if the opinion is this then it's going to be that but the world is evolving, things are changing, changing, times are changing, and we, the young ones, are changing with time, with the, these new times. But our parents doing that, we, sh we also have to understand that our, it, it's going to take a while for our parents, some of our parents to actually accept certain things. It's going to take them a while for them to understand certain things. I think we should be patient with them. And as long as your parents are accepting that, okay, this is the religion you're following, that's a good start. But if they say, um, don't do this, that's too much, or just understand that um, maybe they don't understand what's going on. But I do believe, or I'd love to believe that other people are open enough to like learn over time and actually respect what you believe in no matter whether it goes against what they believe in or not let me know what you guys think if you faced similar situations uh, let us know how that uh, went for you otherwise i'd love to wish that wish for everyone that we get understanding parents and love to wish that we also understand our parents in return and above all remember to respect them in each and everything that we do otherwise if there's something you want me to react to, drop the link down below. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.